A team of divers heroically rescued a magnificent 12-meter humpback whale that had become entangled in an illicit fishnet. What followed after its liberation astonished the witnesses. Describing the scene as truly remarkable, the divers were astounded, especially considering that whales typically prefer the depths of the ocean and are rarely sighted near the shores of Spain's Balearic Islands. The appearance of a 40-foot, or 12-meter, humpback whale near Maloca garnered significant attention. Whales, characterized as placental mammals of the marine world, are considered among the planet's oldest living creatures. According to a prevailing theory, whales evolved from mammals that once roamed the land. Their sizes vary considerably, ranging from the petite 2.6 meters, 8.5 feet, with a weight of 135 kilograms, 298 pounds, in the case of the smallest, the dwarf sperm whale, to the colossal blue whale, the largest animal known to have existed on Earth, weighing a staggering 190 metric tons, 210 short tons. Notably, among the diverse whale species, sexual dimorphism is a common trait, signifying that females tend to be larger than males. Humpback whales, renowned for their incredible acrobatic displays, possess the ability to cover vast distances, traveling thousands of miles in their pursuit of prey. The history of whale hunting dates back to the Stone Age when ancient communities utilized various tools and harpoons to hunt these majestic creatures primarily for their meat and bones, which served as materials for crafting tools and masks. Subsequently, in the 18th and 19th centuries, humans turned to whaling for oils used as fuel for lamps and as lubricants. Ambergris, valued in perfumery and lotions, also fueled the demand for whaling. In the contemporary era, nations like Norway, Japan, and Iceland persist in whaling practices, joined by certain indigenous communities in Siberia, Alaska, and northern Canada. However, beyond direct hunting, whales face numerous indirect threats from human activities. They frequently get ensnared in fishing nets laid by local fishermen or inadvertently swallow fishing hooks. Marine pollution poses a significant hazard, with chemicals and organic substances accumulating in their bodies, impacting their populations. This contamination, passed from mothers to offspring, can result in cancer and other illnesses among whales. Additionally, the consumption of plastic bags and litter mistakenly ingested by whales, as well as collisions with ships and boats, contribute to their mortality rates. It's a poignant reminder of the numerous challenges these magnificent creatures encounter due to human actions. Presently, whales benefit from protective measures established under international law, facilitated by the International Whaling Commission IWC, founded in 1946. This regulatory body was instituted to manage whaling activities, ensuring sustainable practices while safeguarding and fostering the welfare of whale populations. Notably, since the 1960s, stringent regulations have led to a substantial reduction in whale hunting, contributing significantly to averting the extinction of many whale species. Recently, a passing boat encountered a distressed whale approximately 8.3 kilometers, 3 miles, off the eastern coast of Mallorca. This sighting prompted the Marine Rescue Center in Palma de Mallorca to mobilize its efforts to assist the exhausted creature. Despite their attempts to establish contact with the distressed whale, the rescue center was unable to reach it. The whale, visibly fatigued due to its entanglement, left the rescuers shocked. Humpback whales, easily recognizable due to their immense size, likened to that of a school bus, traverse the ocean during specific times of the year. Distinguishing humpbacks from other whale species are their distinctive characteristics, large fins, dark backs, light bellies, and the prominent hump that lends its name to the Palma de Mallorca Aquarium. Prompt identification by divers confirmed the stranded animal as a humpback whale. With commercial whaling banned since the early 1980s, collisions with ships and entanglement in fishing gear remain among the foremost threats to these majestic creatures. Faced with the imminent peril of the whale's life, immediate action became imperative. As the Palma de Mallorca Rescue Center failed to respond, the individuals on the boat swiftly sought aid from alternate rescue centers. 
Rapid responses from Scalu and Albatross rescue centers culminated in their arrival at the location, situated 3 miles and 5 kilometers off the coast. Upon careful evaluation of the situation, a team of expert divers armed with knives was dispatched to dismantle the fishing net and snaring the whale. However, their astonishment grew when they realized that the entangling material wasn't an ordinary fishing net but a prohibited drift net. Drift nets. Declared illegal years ago by the United States due to the severe harm they inflict upon marine life, are colossal contraptions designed to ensnare large quantities of fish and other aquatic organisms. The use of these nets poses a significant threat to marine ecosystems and underscores the ongoing challenges faced in safeguarding marine life from harmful practices. The use of drift nets doesn't just impact marine life, it profoundly disrupts the ecosystem by ensnaring fish and various sea organisms. If these microorganisms aren't sold or consumed, they often end up discarded as marine waste, contributing to the destabilization of the ecosystem. Due to its severe implications for the natural biosphere and the detrimental impact on numerous aquatic species, drift nets have been universally prohibited. Unfortunately, the humpback whale found itself entangled in one of these banned drift nets. The net wound tightly around the entire body of the whale, severely limiting its movement and making normal swimming nearly impossible. Compounding the issue, the net had ensnared the whale's mouth, preventing it from feeding properly. This dire situation led to a rapid decline in the whale's health, raising concerns about how long it had suffered in this state. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the team of divers swiftly sprang into action, fully aware of the necessity to work swiftly and cautiously to alleviate the whale's distress. Amidst the unpredictability of the scenario, these dedicated individuals remained resolute in their determination to free the whale from its plight. Among the proficient divers was Gigi Torres, a seasoned 32-year-old marine biologist who owns and operates the Albatross Diving and Rescue Center in Spain. Her extensive experience in working with marine life had prepared her for challenging situations. Nevertheless, there was something uniquely poignant about this particular encounter. Gigi expressed that meeting and interacting with a whale was not an everyday occurrence. The distinctiveness of this moment left an indelible mark on her. As the divers descended into the water, they approached the distressed whale. Initially, the whale exhibited signs of nervousness and agitation at the sight of the approaching divers. Gigi, interpreting the whale's body language, noted the initial confusion, but she believed the whale comprehended their intention to help, gradually easing into a state of relaxation. Methodically, the divers began their rescue operation by carefully cutting away the net entangling the whale's head before delicately maneuvering to free its mouth and progress toward releasing the net and snaring its lower body. Despite the constraints of time and limited verbal communication, the divers worked seamlessly, each intuitively understanding their role and contributing cohesively to the mission. Their coordinated efforts underscored their commitment to alleviating the suffering of the distressed whale. The divers gathered around the whale, carefully maneuvering to cut the net from multiple angles. Their goal was to swiftly free the whale, minimizing any additional strain on her already injured body caused by the entanglement. Each diver wielded their knife with utmost care, ensuring they didn't cause further distress to the distressed creature. The entire rescue operation was captured on film, a testament to the remarkable and iconic nature of the event. Four divers could be seen huddled around the immense whale, appearing diminutive in comparison. The initial success came when they managed to release the net from around the whale's mouth. Then, a truly magical moment unfolded, instead of frantic movements, the whale began to assist in her own rescue by gently wriggling, aiding the divers in their efforts. This calm cooperation allowed the team to work swiftly, completing the entire mission in a remarkable 45 minutes. Finally liberated, the whale jubilantly wiggled her tail, shedding the last remnants of the net that clung to her body. Astonishingly, instead of immediately swimming away, the whale lingered among the divers, almost expressing a brief, grateful gesture, a heartfelt thank you. Gigi, deeply moved by the experience, described it as an otherworldly and incredible moment. As the whale regained strength and swam off, it marked a pivotal day for both the whale and Gigi. Coincidentally, 
This monumental rescue fell on Gigi's birthday, rendering it her most cherished gift ever. Her act of saving the whale's life, accompanied by the whale's post-rescue swim around her, made it an extraordinary and unforgettable birthday. Reflecting on this, Gigi expressed profound gratitude for the opportunity to be part of such a remarkable event. This heartwarming story exemplifies the incredible kindness shared between different species. If you were in Gigi's shoes, would you have jumped into the sea to save the whale's life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like more touching stories like this, remember to give us a thumbs up. Until the next video, take care of yourself. Let's enjoy the next wonderful story. The breeders of the Richmond Zoo love the animals in the zoo very much. Many times, when the animals are giving birth, they need to observe from the sidelines to prevent any accidents to the animals. A cheetah just gave birth to its own cub. When the breeder looked closely, he let out a scream. What happened? Cheetahs are beautiful and unique animals, these majestic creatures are the fastest animals on land, and as impressive as they are, they are also in danger. Because of poaching and climate change, cheetahs are experiencing a decline in their numbers. They have become endangered animals. That's why many animal intervention groups are working hard to improve their numbers. They must take some measures to protect these precious animals. Melanie was one of the intervention projects for cheetahs, and something magical happened. When the cheetah became pregnant, the staff couldn't help cheering and celebrating, because cheetahs are not easy to get pregnant, and it has become very rare, because cheetahs are not random reproduce. These cheetahs have their own unique persistence that has been passed down from generation to generation. As they grow older, female cheetahs will gather with male cheetahs, and they are very picky about their mates, making it difficult to improve the population situation of cheetahs. So choosing the best mate for them is crucial, and the female cheetah in this story is no exception. Melanie is a beautiful and intelligent three-year-old girl. According to the standards of cheetahs, she has reached the fertile age. The zookeeper thinks it is time, so she introduces a potential mate to her, and also hope that it can contribute to increasing the number of cheetahs in the world as soon as possible. Zookeepers arranged for one of the zoo's most popular male cheetahs just for him and tried to pair them up, but it has been unsuccessful. Melanie doesn't like it, they don't have any chemistry and it's a very tricky situation. Although very strong and healthy herself, Melanie seems uninterested in her male companion, in fact she almost always ignores or avoids her male companion completely. About six weeks passed without any progress in the mating process, the zookeepers realized if they were going to make the project a success they needed to introduce Melanie to a new companion. They need to change their plans, and of course they won't force it to mate with a cheetah they don't like, so they need to do their best to find a partner for Melanie. But what is unexpected is that this happened soon. The zookeeper brought a six-year-old cheetah, and Melanie immediately fell in love with the six-year-old male cheetah. Don't waste any time, they expressed their love for each other from the first meeting, the chemistry between them is very good, this couple is very sweet, play together every day, they are almost connected, don't want each other get out of each other's sight. The zookeeper is also very happy to see them get along in harmony. It seems that Melanie has found a partner, someone she really likes. Soon, the staff noticed some interesting changes in Melanie. Its eating habits suddenly changed, and some typical behavioral characteristics also changed. The staff boldly speculated that maybe just as they planned, Melanie was pregnant. They suppressed their joy and asked Melanie to undergo a medical test. After the results came out, it proved that their conjecture was indeed correct, Melanie is finally pregnant, much to the delight of everyone working on the project. It looks like their cheetah family will have a new member and things are finally looking up for the species. A few months later, zookeepers began planning for Melanie's delivery. Cheetahs are not pregnant for very long, so action must be taken quickly. The average pregnancy period of a female leopard is about 92 to 98 days, which is more than three months. During this period, the zookeepers created a beautiful and comfortable environment for Melanie, they used very comfortable materials for the floor, in order to give Melanie a good experience. For this newborn cheetah cub, 
the administrators also installed a camera in the enclosure, because they were worried that they would not be able to be there in person, so that when Melanie gave birth, they could still keep an eye on it, just in case something happened what is the problem. Just like humans, we cannot predict the exact date of birth, and the same is true for cheetahs, nothing is certain, and the staff must always be prepared until one day, Melanie started exhibiting some strange behavior and the first thing the zookeepers noticed was that she became very restless, a pregnant cheetah walking around impatiently. Until 3 o'clock in the morning Melanie walked into the specially made enclosure for her. The zookeepers watched this magical moment, and everyone couldn't help their hearts beating faster and their eyes moist, Melanie began pacing around the pen, finding herself a comfortable birthing position, lying down, crouching, standing, dutifully trying that at around 4.23 am, Melanie gave birth to her first baby, and as soon as she was born, Melanie had already cleaned it up, and she showed her motherly love. The cute little baby had its eyes closed, but everyone could tell it was healthy and it was breathing steadily, the staff were ecstatic, and just as they were about to leave the observation room for a physical examination of the leopard cubs, something surprising happened. It turns out that Melanie didn't just have a baby. The cheetah continued to pace around the enclosure. When the staff saw it becoming agitated again, they stopped their steps. They returned to the observation room, still through the camera, start tracking its whereabouts. It was 5.20 am and about an hour later Melanie gave birth to another beautiful cub just as she did with her first litter and Melanie cleaned it up gently to confirm baby's breathing, everything is fine. It then took the cub in its beak, placed it next to its siblings, and finally lay down to rest. The caretakers excitedly announced on social media that Melanie had given birth to two cubs, their project has been a success, two cubs is an amazing feat, but this leopard mama made it. Even though this is only its first pregnancy, everyone is singing the praises of the cheetah, but the crew didn't know what to expect in the next few hours, they didn't realize that Melanie wasn't over, and in fact, it was far from it. Around 7.20 am, Melanie got up and started pacing around, taking the other two cubs to the other side of the pen so she wouldn't sit or step on it. Melanie squatted down again and waited patiently, and about 10 minutes later, Melanie gave birth to her third calf, and she cleaned up the cubs and lay down again. Everyone was watching, stunned by the incredible scene, multiple births are not uncommon, two hours between them is very unusual, but Melanie's surprising deliveries didn't stop there, as she gave birth to her fourth cub at 10.05 am and another at 11.34 am. It wasn't until the birth of the sixth cub that Melanie's labor was completely over. The six-hour delivery was not easy, and the staff rushed to let Melanie rest, they uploaded a video on social networks showing Melanie and Melanie's children and everyone cheering for them. Everyone knows that childbirth is a very painful process for mothers, but there is no doubt that Melanie is already a very good mother.